everybody, my name is Baylor Ben, and welcome to the b and Tavern! Tavern Talk Show. This week, we have an amazing guest that I'm going to let her introduce herself, and she is going to kick some butt by introducing herself. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Danielle McFay. I'm a um, voice actor for anime and video games. Uh, League of Legends, Skullgirls, World of Warcraft, uh, Tunia Victory 2. Moggy and a whole bunch of others. And uh, who were you in each of these things? These are pretty big things. <laughs> um, I'm Karma in League of Legends. I am Hagar in World of Warcraft. I am uh, Pain Will and Skullgirl, uh, Esha and Isha in Mega Dimension of Team Number 2. And I forgot the other <laughs> ones. That's been happening lately. I've been, I've been forgetting so many. So many. It's like Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Oh, yeah. You got to catch them all. So, uh, this is this is your first 5th edition D&D experience at all, correct? Yes, very first experience. So, this is very exciting. Uh, what was, uh, what, do you remember what you were the last time? Um, well, I played, um, I didn't do, like, D&D. I played a game called Vampire the Masquerade. So it was kind of like, yeah, it was pretty much like D&D. We made our own characters. And I was a bruja. <laughs> I played that for a little while. But D&D, like, I played that, but very little of it. So, like, I have ADD, so, like, I hop from one thing to the next very, very quickly. <laughs> so I didn't play either game very long, sadly. Oh, I see. But, hey, at least you got into the fun of role-playing games and yeah. uh you know that's a that's that's a very exciting moment so we're going to bring you back into the D, &D world and we're going to create your character are you ready i am ready all right first question is is are you male or female no i'm gonna go with female because i um, usually go with the male characters <laughs> like oh the wow first really characters. yeah okay yeah, i was gotcha. like two male characters that's pretty cool. Pretty badass. <laughs> so, time to figure out your race. Now, I'm going to run down a list, and I can explain more of whatever you would like. Uh, dragonborn, Dwarf, Elf, Gnome, Half-Elf, Half-Orc, Halfling, Human, or Tiefling. I'm going to go... I'll go with Elf for this one. Okay. Is that your final answer? Yes. Excellent. So, you're going with elf. Now, what kind of elf do you want to be? You could be a drow, which is a dark elf, and they have like sort of like evil made within them, sort of like stuff like that. They've been punished by some gods. You could be a wood elf, elf from the woods, kind of just self-explanatory, or a high elf, which is sort of like these rich one percenting elves that know a wizard cantrip off the top of their uh, jeans. Hmm. I want to go with the drow. Just because that reminds me of drow tales. <laughs> and I liked those I liked those type of elves. Fair enough. That is uh, <laughs> you, are you, are you going to be like a super evil person or are you going to try to be like a, a, a good drow? A drow of good nature and good will. I w I'm hoping to be a good drow, but I'm hoping it won't be a good drow and then they turn renegade. But I'd like to be a good drow. I'm sure you can. Now, what will be your age? That's a, that's a big question, because uh, elves can live for, you know, pretty freaking long time. That is they true. Can, they can live like Yoda. And Yoda lives a long ass time. Might do the cliche thing and go for a thousand years old. That they could are be the like the brink youngest. of death. <laughs> they can live up. They can live up to a thousand years. Oh, okay. Well, then we'll lower it um, a little bit. <laughs> do you want your character to be dead already? A little bit. We can, yeah, we can lower it a little bit. All right, all right. I want to go with the. Uh, Let's go with, like, 700. Wise old lady? Yes. Sure. 
How tall is wise old lady? Mm. I know elves are pretty tall. I guess they can kind of be a little tall, depending. Uh, how about, like, maybe seven feet? Seven feet might be pushing it because it's also a very old elf. Oh, that's true. How about five feet? Five feet is fine. Okay. That's a so so <laughs> <laughs> really old wise drow. Is your drow uh, lawful good? Because you wanted okay. you said you wanted them to be a good drow, right? Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, you could be. You could be uh, uh, chaotic good or neutral good or lawful good or lawful neutral, I, lawful evil. I'll go with uh, neutral, the uh, lawful. Lawful neutral, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a nice old lady, but I'll still beat you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> And how, and speaking of beating, how will this drow beat him? Yo, like, are they going to use magic powers? Are they going to be like a martial artist? Or like, are they going to be straight, straight up like sword fighter? What are they going to be? Well, that would be cool if they were a sword fighter. I think I'd love for them to have magic, magical powers. Okay. But I think that'd be pretty yeah, that could. This is your character. The show sure would be cool too. The the imagination but... is endless. So, I mean, uh, what would you like to do? I think I might go with magic. I was thinking of like this old samurai elf. <laughs> Sam old <laughs> samurai elf. elf. I mean, that sounds really cool, though. That does sound you know what? amazing. We can go with that. We'll go with the samurai elf. Well, do you want to be? Do you, do you want to be like a sword artist, or do you want to be a martial artist? We can do sword artist. Okay. So uh, you so you're gonna be a sword artist online or in person? Terrible reference to an wanna... anime. Terrible yeah, I noticed that. that. Ah, like when I said yeah, that, at I least you gonna... knew. I knew where I was gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> at least uh, well, you we're gonna knew. do it in person. <laughs> okay well um all right if you're gonna be that then are you gonna be a fighter or are you gonna be a barbarian a barbar oh, old lady barbarian oh my god just with just the most you could, be, you could be a fighter okay there's a lot of paths with fighter which could work as well but uh so you want to be a fighter yep okay okay dokey already jokey um uh, let's see. Uh now there's uh there's uh let's see, there's a couple of things I have to get the book for which are important to uh which are important to you knowing this is gonna sound weird to Mike like, because I just stepped away for like a second, but uh they are important to you for you knowing because there's different ways. There is the martial archetype and then there's the fighting style so we have to go through a couple of things i have to read you some stuff if you're okay with that reading rainbow time, oh yeah folks reading rainbow um, Oh, reading rainbow that was a good show what like is that childhood you it is your child your child your child it was my childhood too wait it's Are everyone's you, childhood it is except for this like coming generation i would assume yeah, that's true. I, I mean, I guess because they're like, we don't know what that is. Why? Why is everyone so hyped about reading Rainbow? We don't get what, it. <laughs> what? What is so good about these books? <laughs> we don't get it. Why do you like books? Shouldn't be reading Nook Rainbow, <laughs> Kindle Rainbow, video game Rainbow. See, that would be my form of power, like nowadays. But I can't go with that one. That would be so freaking cool. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's see. Martial archetypes have to go through this. Uh, this is just for future. I know it does not come into play at third level, folks at home. But uh, 
you have to you have to you know be pretty cool about this stuff so champion uh champion focuses on the development of raw physical ho power honed to deadly perfection uh a battle master is those who emulate the arc 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 blah blah blah, blah. battle master uh enjoy uh, employ martial uh, techniques passed down through generations. They're more traditional people. And then you have, uh, let's see, is champion. Okay, an eldritch knight, which is something here somewhere. Here we go. Uh, combines the martial ma mastery common to all fighters with a careful study of magic. So, what would what three would you like to be? Um, I'm gonna go with that last one. Oh, you want to be sort of magic-y? Yes. All right, that's cool. You get to you get to learn some spells. That's pretty Ooh. cool. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Magic sword fighting old lady, seven hundred years old. She's gonna still be like an amazing combination, of, like stuff. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna be in all the advertisement. Learn one trick to lose body fat, and it's just a result of her because she's like a super sword fighting master or something. Yep, that's a badass old lady. Um, and then what type of fighting style would you like? Archery, defense, dueling, great weapon fighting, which is like, uh. Which is uh, which is like the big great sword stuff protection, which is more about the like more super duper duper defense, uh, but it's like stuff to do with like with your allies. Defense is just being able to stand your ground, and then two weapon fightings like dual wielding. We can do. I think she can take dual wielding. Oh my god! Hell to the yes. <laughs> Hell to the yes. And now we're moving on to her, her background. There's a bunch of backgrounds to choose from. Uh, Miss Daniela. Um, which is, uh, you could be an alkalite. You could be a charlatan, a criminal, an entertainer, a folk hero, a guild artesian, a hermit, a noble, an outlander, a sage, a sailor, a soldier, or an urchin. Now, these are these backgrounds will give you two skills that you are proficient with. So when you roll a d20, you get some super duper nice bonuses with them. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just imagining the 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 old I'm lady to... just like walking in, just like happy and smiling, and she were like she takes off her cloak and it's just she's armed to the teeth. <laughs> sorry what was it again because i was thinking about like i don't want her to be a hermit but i forgot the other one uh do you want me to reread the whole list again sure if it's okay. okay no that's fine acolyte uh charlatan criminal entertainer folk hero guard art guild artesian hermit noble outlander sage sailor a soldier or an urchin I kinda, I might have to go with Outlander. Just because, like, it, I'm not, I mean, I'm, I think that might be her. Thinking it's, well, yeah, I'm going to go well, with Outlander. Well, if, if that's the case, then she's uh, proficient in being uh, a survivalist and uh, very athletic. Oh, my God. <laughs> and also, she's... Um, natural at having per she's also proficient in being very perceptive so she can sense stuff in the force yes oh we gotta have it you gotta have badass that old lady yes this is probably <laughs> one of my favorite characters of all time now uh yes this, this is the best this is the best ever 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 oh ever, she's ever. coming out so well so far she's coming out great are you kidding me um yeah, yeah like Let's, let's just do it. Um, so you got two more skills that you can um, be proficient in, and I'll run down the list for that as well. Okay. Uh, you could be good at acrobatics, animal handling, history, insight, intimidation, uh, and those are your options. Hmm. 
Well, since she's wise, you said history, right? For one of them? Yeah. Because I want her to have, like, some sort of grasp of history. Because she's been around for a while. So I, I'd imagine her. <laughs> so I'd go for history. See, I'm thinking, like, in depth. Like, what? Yeah. Who is this character? You got, yeah. So definitely you history. Get... Yeah. What made her so good at being athletics and, and, and a survivalist? What made her so good? Yeah. What made her so good? Like, why is she an outlander? She's been through a lot. And she's experienced, maybe through her experiences, like through right. trial and error. Okay, fair enough. And uh, what was what is her goal? I guess to be the best. Like no one ever was? I guess so. I mean, I was going to go that route, but I was going to go <laughs> on the lines of like, like she's not the type of who wants to retire and kind of say, well, I'm, this, I'm getting old, I'm going to just retired here she wants to keep going so i guess she enjoys have have like a serious that's like a serious indomitable spirit <laughs> yeah that is like straight up like ain't nobody ain't, ain't nobody gonna tell me that i can't continue with my super awesome magic powers exactly uh so what else you got one more thing you could be proficient in okay Uh, what what would you like to be? What 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 thing would you like to be proficient in? Uh, acrobatics, animal handling, uh, or in, insight or intimidation. Hmm. Do you want to be an intimidating old lady? I mean, that would work. I was thinking animals too, but that's true. You could. Do... <laughs> She's you know, able to hey, you know what? You cats. know what? Because yeah. intimidation sounds really good, but animals sound. Even her. I mean, she can be like the Eliza Thornberry. Oh my! She's like really old. God, that sounds amazing. That sounds really powerful. I don't know if I want to mess with her now. <laughs> Animal handling. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. So, uh, uh, because of uh, because of uh stats and this is a very new thing i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and give you some numbers we do point by system here on the show uh mm -hmm. instead of rolling for it so uh your ladies old lady's gonna be really intelligent because that's how you cast your magic because every uh every class will cast uh something with a different um a uh different uh, uh, stats. So there's like there's strength, there's dexterity, so there's constitution, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Like a bard will cast spells with charisma. You know, a mm -hmm. cleric will pack, cast spells with wisdom. Uh, somebody who's a uh, fighter with magic stuff is uh, is uh, somebody who casts it with intelligence, like a wizard. Uh, so. I'm going to make your intelligence pretty amazing. I'm also going to make your old lady fucking strong. Oh my gosh. Um, She's, well, see, I don't want her to be, like, overpowered strong. Like, no, th there's no way that this is going to make you OP at all. Okay. Don't you worry about that. There's no way that can happen. No <laughs> siree. Never done that before. Um... Okay, your your old lady's really strong and really intelligent, and she's wise and dexterous and very constitution, and she has a charisma of ten, probably because she maybe doesn't talk to a lot of people. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, she kind of uh, gives me that vibe too. Like she doesn't really talk to many people. Yeah, she kind of herself unless like she needs to kind of bestow her wisdom. Yeah, it's like, I got all this knowledge and none of you can have it, suckers! Oh, hey guys, guess what? I know about this. I'm gonna tell you about it right now since it's important. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now after I told you. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to see to kill this guy? Want to see it again? Um, <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna give this old lady some, let's see. Because I gotta, I gotta look up with how, how like, uh, 
What, what is your path is two something something the power of two the power of two weapon fighting huzzah uh, now we are going to learn the magic of two weapon fighting and learn how the hell that works because God knows I'm so great at that um let's see it's uh, two weapon fighting while you engage in two weapon fighting you can add your ability modifier to damage uh, to the damage of the second attack okay. So we gotta figure out what on earth kind of weapon can you get that's like dual wielding, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, you can also get a shield. Would you like a shield? Ooh. Shield sounds really good. Shields up. All right, Star Trek it up. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. Would you like a? Uh... Well, let's see here. Would you like a? Would you like? Oh my God! This would be crazy. And I know so people are gonna be like, "That's not how this class works." Whatever. We're having <laughs> fun, right? She can be a happy hybrid. Yes, exactly. Do you want to have two rapiers? That does a lot of damage. What's that? Two rapiers. Oh yes. Two dual wielding rapiers. Hell yeah. Uh, that's, that's pretty damaging too. Right it here. is uh, 1d8 plus 2 because of your amazingness. Um, yeah, I wish I knew my letters. There we go. I'll give you two rapiers. You got a shield. You got leather armor. This this woman's like packing a punch. Yo. Now, yeah, I wouldn't want to fight against her. She's oh my god. Who would fight against her? She Who seems is... a little a little intimidating. Just a little bit. Well, speaking <laughs> of intimidating... You got one thing left. You need to answer my questions. I have one question left for you, my friend. All right. What is your name? Oh. Oh, my gosh. See, the names are always the toughest one because you want to have a name that sticks, and then you don't want a name that you think of on the fly, and when you play, you just regret it. This is this is the part of the show where this is where we make it 45 minutes long. <laughs> yeah, because the name is like, it's almost like a, creating a character in a video game. It's like you want to stick with something that you won't regret later on. You know, we can call, okay, I'll keep it simple. I'll call her Raven. I think that really works for her. Raven? Yeah, we'll stick with Raven. Like in That's So Raven? Or, um... Like, original Teen Titans Raven. <laughs> oh! That Raven, too, is also a significant Raven as well. That's cooler. Yeah. Um... Okay. She's Raven. Raven last name. Last name. Uh, oh God! I, don't even, I can't even think of the last one. Oh wait! I'm gonna make it weird. How about we call her Raven Rogue, just because of who she is? <laughs> she's not she's a rogue. But like, she's you want to mess with her? Rogue. Okay. Uh. So Raven Rogue. She's a Raven Rogue. She's a Rogue that raves. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Raven it Rogue. It sounds like a cartoon character name. <laughs> okay, what What would she sound like? Out of curiosity, what kind of voice would you give her? Oh, probably something like this. Kind of seasoned and ready to kick ass, and play with those animals, speak <laughs> the spirit language. That's how she sound. I, I would totally go with that. <laughs> Says, I remember back in my day, you're dead. <laughs> now I'm gonna find a cat to play with. There's a mountain lion yep. over there. No, like no. Every time she says like something important, she'll go and play with an animal. Oh my gosh, that's, this is the best. Part. This is the best character ever. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. I have I have made your character sheet. 
uh, which I'm really excited about, and we're gonna go see. We're gonna we're gonna see how this is. Uh, you're <laughs> holy shit. Um, uh -oh. this is this is some pretty damn powerful shit right here. Forgive my language slash not. Oh no, oh no, uh, you're good. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah, I really don't see how I can kill your character. Um, you have. See, that's a, a problem right there. No, it's not a problem. It's fine. I will just say rocks fell on you, and there you go. Or you had a heart attack. Um, your history. You're a very historical person, person, and your athletics are off the charts. You can literally be part of the Olympics right now, if you want. <laughs> uh, you cool. because of your when you engage two weapon fighting, you can add your ability uh, modifier to damage the second attack. So basically. Uh, you the second attack you do you do one d eight plus two plus four, because that's oh. your attack bonus. So that's uh, pretty powerful. Um, so that so every time she attacks, does she get a bonus or just like certain attacks? Uh, second time you attack. Okay. Uh, you also are dual wielding because I made it so I am DM. Hear me roar. Uh. You uh you have drow magic, which means you know something magical right off the bat already because you are a drow, and we will look that up at some point. Uh, second win, you have when you reach uh when you have a uh, limited stamina, well of stamina that you can you can draw on to protect yourself from harm. On your turn, you can use a bonus action to regain hit points equal to one d ten plus your fighter your fighter's level. So uh, you can heal some hit points automatically just because you are a badass. Nice. You don't even need to drink potions. You're just like, whatever, I'm going to feel better <laughs> by my own accord. Um, <laughs> uh, and then you can also see in the dark. Nice. Uh, you also don't need to sleep. You just meditate cool. for four hours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She could just be like, I'm sleeping by meditating. Totally sleeping, guys. Don't bother yep. me. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. You have yourself a uh, a very well animal handling, athletic, historical, uh, very uh, perceptionistic, uh, survivalist, uh, old drow lady named Raven Rogue. Yes. You did it. I love it. You did it, uh, and uh, if you want, you can join our voice acting campaign if you want, uh, where we oh, uh, take, definitely. We, we take these characters and we uh, put them into an actual D&D &D game. Ooh. That. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm down, definitely. Awesome. Then, at some point, guys, check out uh, D D Raven Rogue, uh, starring as uh, Denalia. Uh, and then Core, and then Xanthi, all together. They're amazing. They're, yeah. We got we got a half elf uh, druid. We got a we got a little gnome gnome uh, uh -huh. a little gnome monk from Core. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, and then we got our powerful old woman fighter from. I guess you would say this is kind of like a Dungeons and Dragons version of those cool old ladies from uh oh god it's 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 the powerful movie where it's in like a post-apocalyptic um is it, uh, sand world is, uh, it, is it Mad Max? Yeah, Mad Max. There we go. It, it, like those cool <laughs> old lady, the cool they I watched that movie and I couldn't remember the name. Oh, she's like the Furiosa to D&D. Yeah. Jeez, I was gonna bring in Tina Turner, but I don't think she touch a candle. <laughs> Light a candle. <laughs> Yours no can offense. with her hands. <laughs> She's pretty powerful. I'm looking forward to seeing what she has in stock. Uh, if oh, you got, I can't wait. Where I'm excited to do this. Uh, where can people find you before they find you here? Um. Well, I'm on Twitter at Danielle MCBO. I also have a Facebook page at Danielle Vo Artist, and I have a website at www.danielmcvo.com. Yeah. Awesome. And do you have any uh, cons coming up or anything? I have one at the end of this month. 
based in Virginia. It's called AMA, which is short for Anime Mid-Atlantic uh, Cosplay Fest. And I'll be there from the 30th of December and until the first, probably early 2nd of January. Go see you yeah, guys. So yeah, Virginia. So, last part of the year, right? Yeah. Okay, good. good. Ending the, ending the tour off big on New Year's. What? Oh my god. Oh, dude, I know what we could do. This is crazy that, like, we're talking about, like, uh, planning future events on a podcast, but this is this is the way that talk show goes. Uh, oh no, this... it's totally fine. <laughs> there's this, uh, <laughs> there's this, um, there's this cool con that's, like, coming up soon in Louisiana, uh, in New Orleans, called GamesCon, um, or Gaming Fest, and it's all gaming-related stuff, and they also want to do, like, a, like, a VO uh uh like panel and they asked me to like find some awesome amazing people uh to do the vo panel with do you want to do that yeah oh my definitely gosh. that would be so cool that would oh my be because i love to i love doing stuff like that and i love going to new places too so that sounds like a lot of fun I i'll to- take you to po boy land to put like what's that there's, i will take you to po boy land what's po boy land uh, it's called Parkway Bakery and Tavern. It is the best po' boys in the world. Ooh. What's a po' boy? I'm glad you asked. Um, it is... That was going to be is, my next question, actually. <laughs> a po' boy is, uh, two French bread slices with anything in between. Usually fried shrimp dressed with lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise. Ooh. Uh, and, but you can put in whatever you want on them, and it is the, it is voted as the best, uh, po' boys in Louisiana. Because they are a New Orleans nice. uh, original thing. So that's pretty amazing. Food is amazing. Raven Rogue's amazing. Our guest was amazing. I hope you had fun uh, with <laughs> with our funny little uh, D&D show that seems to get like these amazing people like you. Oh, well, thank you for having me. I had so much fun creating this crazy, awesome character. I'm so I excited. I can't wait to see where she goes. She's going to go somewhere amazing she's going to go right into the stomach of a dragon and then cut open the stomach of a dragon from the inside oh my god she's gonna she's gonna be that kind of crazy person that'd be so cool if you guys want to see this i want to be like you when i grow up (laughs) (laughs) that would be amazing uh if uh if you guys like what you see here or you want to see uh raven rogue and the gang take on what on earth i do uh then go ahead subscribe to the bnb tavern we're great we have a team. We have mouths. We need feeding. Uh, money helps if you want to subscribe and like and all that jazz. Monetization is cool. Anyways, guys. Um, but again, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this is, I think, going to be our last uh, episode for the year. And then we're going to cool. start season two, which I think we reached about uh, nine episodes. We reached about nine episodes. So as episode 10 is going to be the new year. Oh yeah! Hell yeah! We're we gotta do something for. You're special. starting off in double digits next year. That's really cool. I know that's really exciting, and we gotta do something special for that. Maybe we'll get like a bunch of the guests, like like uh, you, Mike Pollock, and the others. We'll do like a game show thing. Oh, yes, that would be so amazing. Oh, <laughs> I would awesome. love. To... I would love that. I would love to do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna call Mike right after this and tell him you need like because when Mike came on the show, he said he was like, "Oh, I love pub quizzes," and I was like, "Oh shit, you do!" Like you know who Mike <laughs> is, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, Mike. Mike. Mike Pollock. Yeah, I heard of him. Um, we're following each other on Twitter. We're following each other, but I haven't really met him in person. Oh, okay, yeah, he's the he he's the voice really nice of uh, Doctor Eggman from uh, the Sega yes. franchise. Super awesome dude. Uh, he was up so far. Heard is really check. nice. He's super nice. He's so like, he's so like just like chill and just like happy to be there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do. We're, oh my gosh, pub quizzes, tavern quizzes. There we go. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do tavern quizzes of crazy stuff that happened last year in 2016. Because, obviously, very few things happened in 2016 that were significant. I lied. Yeah. Um, (laughs) (laughs) So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for uh, our first year of B&B Tavern. This has been a fun show to do. And I'm really glad that we can meet amazing people and have amazing people like you on this show, uh, Danielle. Well, thank you so much. And thank you once again for having me. And... Uh, I hope the new year will be even better with better like stuff and awesome. I hope the next year will be even better than this year. 
<laughs> right back at you. We hope that you get to voice in many other new things. Also, guys, if you want to check out uh, some VO stuff I'm doing, you could go to Super Smash Flash. I'm one of the brand new announcer voices, so I can say the name of your characters. Me? So, yeah. I, I, I am a... some re- For some reason, they wanted me to be a reference to Street Fighter 2, so I did that. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's... So, see you Not guys bad. later. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever. You know, enjoy happy the everything. holidays. Happy everything. Happy, 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 <laughs> happy, 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 happy. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.